brought to you by Baby Lock for the love of sewing. Sulky Threads, express yourself with Sulky and create with confidence. Welcome to Quiltmaker's Block Network. I'm June Dudley with Quiltmaker Magazine and today I'm going to share with you Candlestick, block number 81. This block was designed by Karen Griska for Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, Volume 1. For this block you're going to need four cream fabrics, a dark brown and a medium brown. The cutting dimensions for a 12 inch block are on your screen. And you're going to make two four patches from the dark brown and one of the creams. You're going to make triangle squares using the dark brown and a cream and four triangle squares using the medium brown and a, and a cream print. And you're going to assemble your units and patches into rows and you will sew these together um, in in your rows and press your seam allowances in opposite direction from row to row. Notice the nice strong diagonal you get with this candlestick with this dark brown print in this block. So with this really strong diagonal, you can repeat the block like this for a beautiful quilt. But because of this strong diagonal, this is a great block to rearrange into a lot of fun settings. First, let's alternate the blocks in the first and third rows to form a giant zigzag. Let's go back to the straight setting and turn the top left and bottom right quadrants. That forms concentric diamonds like this. You get the idea. Many creative settings are possible by simply rotating the blocks. Now, let's look at the candlestick block in different fabrics from a staff challenge where four of us each made the same block to create a variety of looks. Diane Harris used the concentric diamond setting we already saw, but she made her blocks all scrappy. Notice that her candlesticks are still the darkest values in her blocks, and so the candlesticks are very visible in this setting. Look closer to her block, and you'll see that the big triangles are red on one side and purple on the other. This makes her ring of diamonds alternate from red to purple. Eileen Fowler turned only the four corners of this concentric diamond setting. She still has strong candlesticks visible because they are also made from her darkest fabric. But her lime and purple quilt looks very different from Diane's. Carolyn Beam alternated her blocks in each row to form an all-over pattern of smaller diamonds. Look closely at her block and you'll see her candlesticks are very visible because they're now the lightest value in the block. She surrounded the candlestick with medium and dark fabrics. With two different colors surrounding the candlestick, she has medium and dark diamonds alternating on her quilt. Finally, if you alternate the two outside columns, you'll have the setting I created. My blocks form vertical zigzags where the direction changes in the middle of the quilt. And it's harder to see candlesticks in mine. There's still a strong diagonal in the four patches, but I used a medium value fabric at the ends and the ends of the candlestick have disappeared. I hope this gives you some inspiration to try something new with a block. You'll find candlestick and 99 other creative blocks in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks Volume 1. Hope to see you again soon on Quiltmaker's Block Network. I swayed too much. <laughs> 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 it's not my feet. I didn't move my feet at all. <laughs>